Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Jenik um, from Jenik Memories. Alright, so today I'm going to be teaching you how I do my raw processing and also how I do my color grading to get teal and brown color. Okay, to get teal and brown color. So we I don't want to waste time. I'm not going to waste time in this um, in this tutorial. So I'm going to advise you should stay till the very end of this video because you're going to get value from it. Okay, so it's going to be a quick one. All right. So this image was taken by uh, a friend of mine in DRC Congo STM Photography. All right. He took the image with a Nikon D7200, where 50 mm ISO 100. Aperture 1.8 and speed at high speed sync 1 over 3200. All right, so without any wasting of time, let's jump into the video proper. All right, so what I do basically the first time I I take down my my highlights. Okay, I take off my shadows a little. Then let me bring down the blacks. Okay, take down the white also. Okay, so we'll go down again. Let's go straight to the HSL adjustment. All right, so we'll come to luminance, then we'll go to the blues, so bring the blues down a little. You know, it's your image, do whatever thing you like, okay? Just you just have to get good image. All right, so what else again do we have here? We have green, okay? So let me just bring it down a little, okay? We have, a, we have aqua, okay? Okay, let me leave the aqua at where it was before okay so it, i left it where, where it was before at zero okay so these are basically let me check let's check the before and the after look at the before look at the after i see in the sky i see in the, the sky all right so now we we go straight to photoshop all right so we'll go straight to photoshop okay so in photoshop what i do basically for my quick color grading okay because we all want something that is very very fast so i will just go straight to uh, selective color all right so to get till color so this is green so you just go straight to green and yellow that's what you should work most on so see it's okay so just just play around until you get what you are looking for okay just play around don't overdo it so don't overdo it so that it will still look very very natural as natural as possible all right let me take this way up all right then this bring it down a little okay all right i think i'm 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 already getting it look at it Look at it with just a simple selective color adjustment. All right, so when I zoom this this image and look at it, you see that the image is kind of the skin is kind of, the skin tone is kind of looking um what is it called? It's looking kind of reddish. So I want to take it off from the 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 skin. All right, so I'll just take my a black brush, black a brush. Make sure the foreground color is black you know, black removes or black hides while white reveals so i'm hiding the effect of the, the effect of the selective color from the skin from the skin tone okay so this is basically how you can get a till brown till a brown and till color green so if you want to do more you can just come to um, that's for me. You know, when you are you are doing all this, do what works for you. Okay, this is a uh, color balancing. Okay, so when you look at the mid tones, the mid tones, you, you can just play around. If it's, if it's having too much red, take it down to you know to get what the thing you want. And when it affects when it affects your your subject, you can use your your black brush to clean it off. That's how I do it. Okay, no, no, no I think. Okay, this one right here. Now what I, what I will do again, let me go back to that uh, selective color. You can double click on it here if you, want, if you want to adjust it again. Okay, let me just go to blue or cyan. Okay, let's make the the the, 
the bill to pop more look at it to make the bill to pop more i'll just increase it increase the, the black and the blue so the cyan all right so let me do same thing in the blue okay as so i don't know if you are seeing it you are seeing it all right so let's not overdo it all right so i think this is very very fine it's very very fine to me okay so let's check our before and after see our before and after before and after all right i believe you enjoyed this video you you learned something new from this video so click on the subscribe button and like this video comment all right thank you for watching today's video and wait for our next video one love